Hey, this is Allie Edwards and welcome back to December Daily for 2019. This is day 20 and I am back after Christmas to finish up my album. I actually have it all done now and we'll be sharing uh, with you guys over the next week or so the completed pages. Um, got a few other things I need to do related to the one little word project, so it's going to interrupt some of this. But here you can see on day 20 I'm working with four three by four photos. I'm going to use one of the pocket pages in the four by six album. I have printed them and then I had them held them together back to back and used a one inch circle punch to punch out a half circle from the top. Uh, at this point in time, when I was working on the page, I figured that I, I knew I wanted to add some more journaling because this is about the day when Simon did his Eagle Scout project, the actual, um, del actually, excuse me, the delivery of um, the project to the school. He did a big Lego fundraiser and um, Lego organization thing and, and then delivered um, 22 boxes of Legos to a local elementary school that, that he went to. So using four pictures there, I knew I wanted to add other words. So I was thinking that I could add some kind of journaling into the top or between the two photos, right? So still inside the page protector but something that would, um, where you'd be able to see them, see the, the words coming out of the top. The other thing that I was thinking about too, is I wanted to add some sort of embellishment. So I pulled out, excuse me, the large rubber arrow, which is from one of the, uh, rubber collections or rubber combinations that we had in the shop this year. Um, this is Mary everything on it and, uh, decided to adhere that on the outside for adhering rubber pieces. I usually use red line tape. Um, then I also pulled out the paper pad from the main kit and was considering um, slipping those, slipping the uh, those cards inside there. Um, one of the things that I found as I was finishing up these last five or six days um, was that doing uh, typed journaling was the way to go. <laughs> so you can see here for me, some of this journaling comes from Instagram posts that I made uh, because that is just an easy way to do it. And most likely I'll be telling this story again in some other way in another project, the story of um, Simon's Eagle Scout project. So just having whatever I put in the post seemed to work out just fine. So you can see that I printed it. I used a red background. Um, that's actually, it's not red paper. It's white paper that I made red on my computer and then changed the type to white. And so I ended up with the journaling that went on to a second card. So two cards there. And then I needed to decide what I wanted to do on the back. So I pulled out um, these stacked stamps. I'm not sure what the actual name was for them. I'll, I'll link them below, but they're holiday related stamps. And a lot of them relate to giving in the season of giving. And it was I would say it was pretty magical for Simon to deliver all of these boxes during the holiday. It was pretty fun to be able to do that um, and put bows on them and all that kind of stuff. So I figured um, these stamps could definitely make sense with that. So what I decided to do was stamp and emboss them right onto just one of them, a single one onto the back of each of these cards. And I am doing it on a sheet of, um, or a piece of a thinner kind of cardstock, I would say. Um, you could even do it on printer paper and I'm using Versamark embossing ink, putting it down and then I'm going to be using gold embossing powder on top for, um, to make it so that you can actually see it, which is what's happening, um, right here now. And I have a heat gun that's basically just always plugged in that's on the other side of my table. So I can always just grab it, um, to be able to, to do the embossing. I still find that most of the time I do embossing in December. That's when I do it the most. I don't do it in a lot of other projects, but who knows, maybe that'll, that'll change, probably come and go. Um, and then I just went ahead and here, adhered that to the back of the journaling. I did need to make a few adjustments on the width, um, changing the size just a little bit uh, to be able to slip it inside the, the pocket there because you're essentially having, I mean, I printed my, the red journaling is on photo paper. That's one of the ways, it's kind of a trick that you can get um, 
better color, I think, um, sometimes, especially the color that I like, I would say, uh, by printing on photo paper. And that's what I did for that one. So some of, the some of those, or one or two of those needed to be trimmed down a little bit to help it fit better into the pocket so that it wasn't so tight. Um, pockets really aren't designed to hold, you know, four or five <laughs> photos in them in the one pocket. So I went ahead and did the same thing on the other side there. Um, again, using Versamark embossing ink, um, gold embossing powder, that's from Ranger, um, Tim Holtz embossing powder, and uh, went ahead and um, cooked that. I always used to say cook, heated that up, cooked it uh, right on there. And I really like how this, this turned out using um, those stamps and just having it be really simple on the um, simple on the, the white cardstock there. So went ahead, um, melted that down, and then I did want to add on um, some Avery Index tabs to the top, and you'll see that in, an, in a minute here um, as the video moves on. Uh, a couple of other things. It's always interesting for me to go from doing this every day to taking, you know, like five days off and then coming back to it. Um, a lot of times at this point in the process, I am ready to just finish this project up. And that definitely becomes my goal. It's how can I finish it up and, and potentially becomes a little bit less creative, which is not a problem to me. I don't, that's not something that I'm concerned about necessarily, because I really am more focused on the words and the photos uh, in general. So that's part of one of the reasons why I like to do a lot of the creative part when I'm doing my foundation pages or earlier in the project, because I know myself and I know that by this time of the year, when it's after Christmas, I'm really ready um, often to move on to other projects. And I know some of you guys feel that way too. And for some people, it helps to just put it away and bring it back up when we start talking about December Daily next year in September or so. And that's when a lot of people finish up their projects from the past year. So it doesn't really matter how you approach it, what way you decide to do it. It's just different options for different people. So I went ahead and used the number one, number two stamp from the one of the stamp sets that we offered this year. Um, it's on the one that has the word memory and it also has the lines for a journaling card as well. Um, and I just went ahead and attached that right on the top with the Avery Index tab there. And then it made it easy to pull up and out. You could also make those into tags if you wanted to do something like this where you're slipping them inside um, tags with uh, string or some other kind of twine that you were pulling them out with. This was just an easy way to um, achieve what I wanted to achieve in, in, um, in this one in terms of creating a home for the stories or the story that was... Um, able to be tucked inside the pocket there. So I really like how this one turned out. I think it was a good use of the page protector itself. I did a lot of things this year outside of the page protector. So this was a nice reminder, especially for multiple photos in the four by six, you know, you can have four or four by six photos in there. This also has the, um, the kind of divider page or the transparency page on top of it that you'll see in the photos as well, but it's has less to do with the actual um, story and more just something that I liked in there. I did um, end up using another rubber piece. I went back and forth on a couple of them. The one I ended up using is the circle one that says this December, these December moments, um, and adhered that again to the outside of the page protector, which is totally fine uh, to do that as well. So I'm excited to be back with the next couple days for you. Like I said, it's probably going to, they'll be posted most likely irregularly. I've got a few other activities that are happening um, this next weekend and stuff, but I wanted to get at least one going for you guys as we move on and um, happy new year.